7 o'clock a.m. Morgan and I wake up and I chill out on the bed while Morgan gets ready for the day. At this point, I'm still super tired, so I have a big yawn. And then when Morgan puts me on the floor, I have a big stretch. And then once I approach the railing outside, I have another big stretch. Then I get to go down the stairs and get ready to go outside for my first walk of the day. Once we get outside, it's a little bit damp, but I really need to pee after being asleep all night. Then as we start walking, I am really, really distractible. So you'll see me veer off the sidewalk every now and then. I need to poop right away. It is an emergency. And then I'm super energized. So we continue walking and I have a little bit more pep in my step. I'm trying to learn how to walk on the sidewalk like a good dog, so my owners give me pieces of hot dog when I do a good job. That's why I keep looking up. Sometimes I like to dictate which way we go on our walks. And normally they follow me, which makes me very happy. I like to check back every once in a while to make sure that everyone is where they should be. Many times, I'll start to feel the need to poop again, and so I urgently find a place to have my second poop. When we finally get home, I try to be a good boy and sit down for a treat, a special treat. A special treat of two hot dog pieces. Then we have to clean off my paws and I really don't like that. So sometimes I try and bite. Once the harness comes off, I am a free boy. At this point, I'm super energized and I'm ready to play. So I hurry downstairs. I can't help but be super cute with my little ring toy. One thing we like to do when we play is play fetch with my ring toy. I love that thing. Morgan throws it and I go to fetch it and I bring it back. Sometimes I come back to my bed and guard the little ring with everything I have. After we play, it's time to hang out with Morgan. I love to sit on the bed and look out the window for anything interesting. This is how I protect the house. I get a nice vantage point up here and I just look outside and I bark whenever I see anything suspicious. I get very tired after my lookout session, so I lay down on Morgan's dad's lap. Then I lie down for another rest on my bed, on my fluffy little bed. I can hardly keep my eyes open. And I have another big yawn. After I rest, it's time for another walk. I am so happy right now. I love being outside. So I go for a pee again, and then we head off on the walk like normal. I'm still learning how to walk like a good boy, so I get hot dogs every now and then for walking on the sidewalk. I love sniffing this pole here because this is where dogs always come to pee. And I like hanging out around here because this is where many dogs pass by. Then I like to smell around this front yard because my friend Norman lives here. We finally get back to the house and again, 
I sit down like a good boy so I can get two pieces of hot dog. When the door is open, I go inside and sit down on the rug like a really good boy, and then I get a treat. And then we have to wipe off my paws like every other time. This time I'm actually doing pretty well and I'm not biting Morgan's dad. But maybe that's because he keeps giving me treats. Then I have to go into the crate so that Morgan and her family can go out for a nice lunch, and I'm a good boy about that. When Morgan and her family get back from lunch, I'm let out of the crate. I rush upstairs to see everyone. I'm a really big fan of this red and blue bone. It's too big for me, but I love it so much and I can still pick it up with my mouth, which is awesome. I entice Morgan to come downstairs and play with me again. Sometimes I really like to play tug of war with this blue knot. And sometimes I just like to bite it. I always win at tug of war. After we're done with our play session, I go back to my bed and sit down and I know just how cute I am. Finally, I drink some water. I am so thirsty at this point. Then, I eat some food for the first time today. Sometimes I'm not very good about eating my food. And sometimes I like to take my food out of the bowl and put it on the ground to eat it. The first of each month I get some medication and it's in a little chewable, but I love playing with it first. Sometimes I act kind of like a cat when I'm playing with my chewable. throw the chewable around with my mouth. And then I pick it up and run towards the front door. There, I put the chewable on the ground and finally pick it up and eat it. And sometimes it takes me a really long time to chew it all the way. A little bit later in the day, I go out for another walk. I love getting ready for walks because I love walks. Once my leash is on, I'm ready to go, and as soon as we get outside, I pee like a good boy. Soon after that, we come inside. 
After that outing, we do what we call styling, where I get brushed and I get to chew on a nice, juicy bully stick. I'm so talented that when someone taps my leg and says paw, I lift up my paw to be cleaned. And then I get a treat for that. Each time it's really impressive. I'm left pawed, so it's a little bit difficult for me to lift my right back paw. But I'm really good at lifting up my left back paw. It feels really weird getting my stomach wiped down. I don't mind when my fur is brushed because I get to chew on this bully stick, which is the only time I ever really get to chew on bully sticks. In order to brush my stomach, I do this thing where I sit up tall so that it's easy for the comb to get to my stomach and I still get to chew the bully stick. This entertains my owners every single time. After styling, I go get some water and eat some last minute food before my bowls get picked up and put away for the night so that I don't need to pee or poop during the night. At this point, I'm really tired, so I jump up on the couch and lay down. Typically, I hang out with Morgan's dad while he watches TV. I'm so tired that I'm hardly able to move. I can't even move my head. At about 10 o'clock, it's time for us to go upstairs and start getting ready for bed. Every night, Morgan picks up some treats to entice me to go up the stairs. I love treats, so I do that. And sometimes the stairs are slippery, so I trip. Before we go to bed, we hang out a little bit in Morgan's work room where she completes some end of the day tasks. Sometimes I'm hesitant to enter the room, so Morgan has to put a treat on the ground inside the room to entice me to come in. It works every time. I always like to hang out on the bed while Morgan does her work. I love sniffing around. And saying hi to Morgan every now and then. At this point, I'm still really tired, so I have a big yawn. I lick my lips a lot before I yawn again. And then I like to lick Morgan's fingers because they have trait residue on them. I love being underneath things, so a lot of times I'll go underneath Morgan's desk and lie down there, and sometimes even go to sleep.
The trash can is also super interesting. And confession time, I love sleeping underneath the human bed. Once I lay down, I cannot move a muscle, I'm so tired. Finally, Morgan finishes her work and it's time for us to go to bed. Finally. We finally approach Morgan's room, but I never like to go inside right away because I don't like being picked up. And Morgan needs to pick me up to put me on the bed. So typically, I'll just stand right outside the room for a while until Morgan puts a treat on the ground, which entices me to come inside. Works every time. I love getting pets, so sometimes I'll lay down on the floor and look for Morgan to pet me. I'm just so cute that she can't even resist. Finally, I'm on the bed and it's time for sleep. I find a comfortable position and we go to sleep for the night.